Here's a heat treat update on my bullets. Starting from the beginning, I had some old lead shielding that they used in, on x-ray booths. And you see, when I run my thumbnail, it leaves a pretty, pretty good gouge. You can feel it with your thumbnail. And it's not that hard to get that little gouge in there. So, when I cast my bullets, my original bullets here, um, I can run my thumbnail across it, and you can see a fresh gouge on there. If it'll focus in there. So, I shot them, and they didn't work very well. And somebody mentioned, oh, you got to heat treat those suckers. So here's one of the bullets that I cast that I didn't load. And I heat treated it. And they told me the heat treat was 350 for 45 minutes. So I let the oven temperature go up to 350. And I waited and got the lead up to 350 and, and quickly shut it off at 45 minutes. Well, here's the result. Um, it's it's about the same color, but it did discolor a little bit. But same thing, I can run my thumbnail. You can see there are lots of thumbnail marks, and I can run my thumbnail there. See that? So apparently, 350 at 45 minutes didn't work. So my next batch I cast uh, was with some wheel weights. So I figured, well, maybe this was too soft. So I got some wheel weights, and I cast them. And these are the latest castings of my wheel weights. And this is the unheat-treated form here, and I'll show you. I'll run my thumb again on, against it. And you can see it's got that mark it's hard to see in the camera right right there it is so you can see my thumbnail there so I heat treated these and I found um, and I'll put the link to that video but a guy said he goes to 480 for about an hour and a half so that's what I did I, I heated them up to 480 for an hour and a half and they do get harder um, and since these are 45, they're pretty low velocity, so I wasn't too too concerned about it. So these are shooters here. But I still wasn't happy. So um, I loaded a batch of 9mm with the wheel weights. And here is the unheat treated form. There, like that. And you see that thumbnail mark there. Now this isn't as deep even in the unheat treated form these aren't uh, these are still relatively hard and I figured well heck if they get harder at an hour and a half I figured um, I throw them in there for two hours and see what happens now this the, the this last time I did it I wasn't very careful about it uh, before I would line these up just right you know like this and, and put them on my tray and put them in the toaster oven. But let me show you what I did this time. So this is my fancy heat treat oven. Five bucks at a thrift store. And what I did was I, I'll show you how I loaded them. I loaded them in my tray. You see there. And I got an oven, got an oven thermometer at Walmart for five bucks. And I just monitored the temperature. And uh, one guy did note, and maybe I read it on a thread, but he did note that you do want to put aluminum foil on it because uh, if you don't, the radiant energy from the heating elements might melt some of the bullets. So what this does, it gets them up to temperature without overheating them. Because um, you want the air temperature to get to 500, but you don't want the radiant energy to directly hit the bullets. So that's what, I, that's what this foil is for. Um, so I've already heat treated this. Uh, and, and what I did was when I took them out, I just dumped a bottle of cold water in them, and it sizzles and fizzes, but 
nothing more than that. Nothing fancy. I, I didn't uh, uh, I didn't let them cool at a certain rate or anything. I just dumped cold water on them. So let's take a look at how they're loaded. Just like that. That's what they look like when they they went in. That's what they look like when they come out. Now, notice this is a an unheat treated one in my hand here, and it, it, it I can't tell from this viewfinder if you can see the color discoloration. It's kind of has a a yellowish or maybe even a, like a copperish tinge to the bullets. So if I hold it next to this one, I can see it with my eyes, but it's hard to see in the viewfinder. Uh, there's a little discoloration from the heat treated ones. So let's take a look at the thumbnail test on these suckers. Alright, here's the, the heat treated bullet. Here's the un, un heat treated, heat treated. So, unheat treated. See that line there? And here's the heat treated. Nothing. I can I can run my thumbnail up and down all day long. Not so nothing on the back there. And these are really, really hard. I'm really, really surprised. Same lead, wheel weight lead. And there's no marks, no thumbnail marks. Well, you can you can see the thumbnail mark, but it's I guarantee you it's not deep at all. It it, it doesn't break the surface at all. It, it, I think it's just a clean spot. But uh, you can you can look around the the nose of the bullet there. Um, I'll try to score it with my thumbnail, and nothing. So that is the recipe. Dump them in this, dump them in your pan, put them in your toaster oven. Um, what I what I did, again, I put this on top, I ran it up to about 350 and waited for about 5-10 minutes and then I bumped them up to 4 500 I think 400 450 this oven I can put it at 450 and it'll actually go to 500 so by my oven temper thermometer it went up to 500 and I let it sit for two hours and then after two hours took them out dumped the water and I'll put I'll put the instructions in the uh, in the description area and I'll put them up on the screen too but for those of you casting bullets and are having problems with soft bullets uh, this is what worked for me. Uh, now again, these are uh, from wheel weights. Uh, and what I did was I did mix probably three to one wheel weights. Three parts wheel weights to, to one, one part soft lead. So there you go. Hope that helps. Later.